Hi, this is Cindy Gross with Nail Analytics. Now that we've walked you through the hardware, we're ready to talk about Event Hubs and Stream Analytics. The first step is to collect and queue data through Event Hubs. Event Hubs are scalable, publish, subscribe ingesters. That means they can collect millions of events with each event having a set of associated data. Once collected, the data can be read from the queue and stored, transformed, processed, and analyzed by real-time analytics providers. Stream Analytics is an event processing engine that offers both hot path, real-time insights, and cold path historical analysis of data from devices, infrastructure, and applications. Once the data has been processed, the data will be passed on to Azure Machine Learning and also to Power BI to be analyzed and visualized. This allows us to gain insights into Internet of Things scenarios such as fleet management, improved healthcare outcomes, and preventative maintenance. Now let's take a deeper look into the components of Stream Analytics. There are three major components to every job in Stream Analytics, inputs, query, and outputs. Let's start with the inputs. Stream Analytics can ingest streaming data from event hubs or from blob storage. This works great for large amounts of loosely structured data. Stream Analytics also ingests reference or lookup data, which is generally static. The second major piece is the query. For what we are trying to accomplish here, we have a SQL query that sets up an alert for vibration signals that surpass a threshold of 900. The first select statement retrieves this list of variables from a table called in devices. The query makes sure to only retrieve data sets that have acceleration total as the measure name and maximum vibration levels over 900. A similar query can be done for temperature signals over 26 degrees Celsius. That's all you need for this scenario, though you can optionally make queries very complex. The last major piece of streaming is outputs. Both blob storage and event hubs can be used as outputs. Blob storage can archive long-term output data for later cold path analysis. Event Hubs, on the other hand, is good as an output sync for scenarios when multiple streaming pipelines need to be composed together. Data can also be sent to Power BI for visualization purposes on a real-time dashboard. If the data is relational or if the application depends on an existing data source, you can output to a SQL database. Then, of course, there's table storage, which is similar to blob storage for structured data. To recap, we ingest the data from the devices and sensors into a queue in Event Hub. Then we read from the queue and push that input data through a query in Stream Analytics. The output of the query, which may be filtered or aggregated, is pushed to another source such as a blob store where it can be acted on in real time. Thanks for watching and check out the rest of our Internet of Things video series.